We will giving you an update on LACNOG. Good morning. We're going to tell you, uh, give you a report that we prepared at LACNOG of our activities. We will explain about the mission and the vision of LACNOG. For those of you who don't know LACNOG yet, LACNOG is a group of network operators in Latin America and the Caribbean. It is a nonprofit international civil association based in Montevideo in Uruguay. It is made up of the actors in charge of operating the region's internet networks. It was recently incorporated in the month of April. Our chair will be giving further details later on. What is our mission? Our mission is to bring together the people who operate internet networks in the region in order to exchange experiences, participate in events and in forums, and so enrich the technical context we are active in. We should would like to become a leading association in the area of interest for the community. The vision is to strengthen the links between network operators in the region and the related professionals to generate knowledge and promote innovation through working groups, as we said, to strengthen the links and carry out interventions on issues involving standards, technology, and best operational practices. Our goals are to encourage the discussion, to exchange information in the community, and to learn and collaborate among the members. The idea is to develop and share recommendations on best practices and to respond to the training needs as well as assisting members and communities and the community with the experience. In addition to that, to actively participate in proposals and developments of public policies in the area of its competence for the countries of the region. This is very important for us, the organizational culture. As we said, this is a working group where the members and work team participate on a voluntary basis. Most of the activities are carried out remotely. We seek to promote cultural diversity, effective communication, and ethical behavior among the members. We seek to achieve excellence, service to the community, innovation, honesty, and responsibility when carrying out our work. What is the composition of the organization? The different components are based on the program committee, which are in charge of the contents that are done the event. The board, we have the board, we have the working groups, which work on the specific topics of interest for the community. And obviously, the community is the largest value, namely all the people who interact with our services. The members of the current board are the following. The president or chair is Ariel Weyher. Edmundo Casares is the vice chair. I'm the secretary, Hernan Franco. The treasurer is Erika Vega. Guillermo Sicileo, second secretary. Calvão Resende is the second treasurer. And Jorge Lam is the vocal. 
The program committee is made up by the following people, Jorge Villa, Carlos Martinez, Hernan Mogilevsky, Jaime Olmes, Marcela Orbiskay, and Gustavo Mercado. One of the important tasks in coordination is coordination. We have Lia Solis, who is the manager, and Carmen Dennis is the secretary of the organization. I will now give the floor to Erica so she can continue with the presentation and tell us about the services. Good morning, everyone. I will explain how Lacknox community contributes value to the region. I'll also tell you about the coverage we have. We are a regional organization that encompasses the Latin American and Caribbean regions. All our services and the collaborative work is done throughout this entire region. There are more than 1,200 participants in the main mailing list, and we invite you to register in that mailing list. And there are more participants in the specific list, for example, on IETF, DNS, which can also be added as participants of the group. As that man was saying, the idea is to become a referent on the management of all these technical issues regarding internet operation. LACNOG supports the different activities, we have working groups. This year, we're going to have our 12th event in the month of October. And we look forward to the participation of many of you. At present, we have more than 50 volunteers working throughout the organization. All the work that is done in the program committee, working groups, and all this is done voluntarily. These are the working groups we have at present. There are nine groups. We have the anti-abuse working group in charge of Lucy Mara de Sidera. She made a presentation in the technical forum. We have the best practices group, BCOP group by Ariel, the training group chaired by Guillermo Sicilio the NOGS group, where we have the support of Carlos Martinez and Christian O'Flaherty. We have the DNS working group, chaired by Hugo Salgado, who is not here today, but you heard, uh, heard him in a presentation on the technical forum. We have the IETF working group. Yesterday, they made a presentation describing the current status of their work chaired by Jefferson Novere. We have the IoT working group, chaired by Gustavo Mercado. The peering working group, chaired by Tadia Maris from Facebook. And the routing working group, chaired by myself, Erika Vega. The idea is that as a community, you can also join these working groups. This is where all the collaborations are carried out the ones requested by the different entities. So these are the working groups that contribute value to the community. So if you wish to join any of these working groups, please address the chairs of those groups and ask how you can work with them and contribute to the community. These are totally open working groups. You'll find more information on LACNOG and what we're working on in our website, lagnog.org. He, he will find all the information. And this just summarizes the work we do. I will now give the floor to our chair, Ariel Weher, so he can give you further details on our bylaws after we were set up as an organization this year in the month of April. I will be telling you about the 
how we were set up as an organization. Let me give you some background. LACNOG always worked under the umbrella of LACNIC. Historically, they have collaborated very much with us. They assisted us in the organization of the events and in a large number of activities that we have organized over time. But there's a time when, as a formal organization, we really need to have our own legal status. So this took place recently in the city of Montevideo. Here in the picture, we are with Christian Uflaherty from ISOC signing the bylaws. This was on the 19th of April last month. Now, in order not to make this very long, because the bylaws are quite long, soon when the formal process is concluded, we'll be including it in the website. Now, what can I tell you about this? One of the first things is that any non-profit organization, we need to have members the format is quite similar to the one you have in LACNIC and all the other organizations that you have around the house of the internet. There is a, This is an association. We defined three groups of members from the basic ones, which are the subscriber members, so all those who participate in LACNOG's mailing lists and somehow collaborate with content or asking questions or sharing information are subscribers, subscriber members. Then we have another status that is called members uh, that wish to make contributions, for example, services or monetary so we can include them in the organization. And then whether the subscriber members or the other members, these can all attend the General Assembly. The annual, the fiscal year finishes in on June the 30th every year. LACNOG finishes this on June the 30th, so that for the month of October, we can hold the General Assembly in that context. This is an event where all the people in that organization are locally, uh, physically at the same place. And then we have the full members who are those who vote and they all have a voice, but they can also vote. They all have the they have the privilege to speak and to vote. So we already. So this would be the initial composition for the members, the full members, the members, supporting members, and the subscribers. Subscribers can become supporting members. And I'm saying it in this way because LACNOG, because LACNOG involves paying no fee at all. So the becoming uh, being a subscriber or a member or a full member have to do with the contribution to the organization, but not in a monetary way. We hope that full members that vote in the, in the assembly may be people that uh, have collaborated in the labs or, well, you know, everything that LACNOC does on a daily basis. So, well, I mentioned the annual assembly. It's going to be uh, in October in the next event. There we're going to have a fiscal committee and an electoral committee. Uh, and initially, the fiscal committee will be, uh, um, we will have um, Thomas Lynch, and who's here, and Ismael Rosas, and Nicolas Antonielo. Basically, the idea of this is we can, we have financial freedom, but uh, and this is something that we've asked uh, a lot. Are you going to 
are uh, separate from uh, LACNIC. No, we are going to work together with the other uh, organizations in the ecosystem with whom we are working at present, but with some financial uh, freedom that will enable us, for instance, to improve the sponsors program. And then you may ask the questions that you wish. So these are the objectives that we uh, included for um, 1922. And you may see that we produced a lot of content. Uh, we generated uh, podcasts and webinars and uh, some uh, debates, some debates and quite a rel quite relevant content of topics that members of our association consider to be relevant for their daily operations so the objective for 2022 is at least to to hold at least six webinars on different technologies relevant to all and to continue with the audiovisual and content uh, uh, development of uh, documentation or videos or instru uh, instructions lacnog is generating quite a lot of content. As a matter of fact, we have a code uh, repository in GitHub, github.com uh, slash LACNOG, where there are several interesting projects, including some scripts or tutorials of how to install the RPKI validators and things like that uh, 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 developed by um, um, Marti Carlos Martinez. And we are trying to fill in the uh, technical content to make it available as a reference uh, framework. In a way, we want to be the visible face of the technical uh, community across the region. So the objectives include uh, continue to uh, um, um, manage strategic uh, partnerships with other regional organizations to strengthen the institutional image, uh, to participate in events and uh, technical projects, uh, and uh, and. Uh, to represent the technical community in the events uh, of internet governance uh, to enhance the participation of the technical community in the PDP affairs. Well, everything that happens uh, there in the technical community ends up uh, having an impact on uh, uh, on uh, uh, our community. So that is why uh, the operators, and that is why we want to, to have a say there. And another thing that we are working with is in uh, generating resources for uh, building the um, uh, lab infrastructure. One of our affiliates is offering us t uh, resources to uh, put, uh, um, to set up uh, servers and infrastructure so that we can have more uh, hands on uh, um, uh, practice. So that's one of the things that we are going to do for uh, 2022 to build this uh, lab infrastructure. So, well, this slide is rather old, but we are seeking sponsors. Remember that uh, but participating and using LACNOC services is absolutely free of charge. It's not limited to any uh, sectors of industry in particular, but and in the same way, we are looking for companies willing to collaborate either uh, with money or with resources, as this uh, was mentioned in the lab, and willing to sponsor the association so that it may be uh, self-sustainable and so that it can grow. Well, this is what I had to tell you. I thank the rest of the colleagues that uh, presented uh, LACNOG, and I don't know whether you have any questions. Hello, I have no questions, but I, I just want to congratulate you, and I want to tell everyone that for all of us, this is a very moving uh, moment. We started with this 12 years ago. The first LACNOG was 12 years ago in Sao Paulo. Ricardo was there, and several people of NICBR were there too. So it's a very emotional moment. It's a hallmark in the development of something that was uh, we started building among a long a lot of people uh, a long time ago, so congratulations. Thank you. There are no questions. Sandra, you have the floor.
Thank you again.